So yeah. imagine you spend it on your debit card, you got nothing. Nothing. Like the debit card ain't gonna increase your credit score, it ain't gonna protect your capital, and ain't gonna give you no cash back and reward points. Yeah. So by using a credit card, <clears throat> we are we essentially we are we're building credit and building our credit score. Mm-hmm. Well, every ninety one days we're gonna ask for a credit limit increase. They're mm-hmm. gonna give us that. So then we're gonna we're gonna decrease our utilization, and shoot our score up even more. Mm-hmm. And we're just gonna build credit, and we're gonna build relationships, yep. and we're gonna get cash back and reward points. Welcome back to the Tune In with Tony podcast, and I got my guys Dion Cootwood and Darius Benders back on the show. Both of them have already graced this podcast with great episodes. My dude Darius came and flamed the show, talking about credit, talking about funding, gave us plenty plays, and then Dion came and just blew the waters out with Metro too. Mm-hmm. Didn't nobody know what that was? They were talking about factual dispute and talking about that, but then Dion came and really laced us up about how. To really aggressively tack these letters faster but guess what guys now they've teamed together as credit to cash so welcome back to the show my guys good to see y'all appreciate you for having us man yeah Pleasure yeah to be back. oh yeah so, you already know man it's it's, it's time man I yeah appreciate you. so we're gonna get straight to it what exactly does it mean because now i see that you guys got this crazy campaign going on called credit to cash what what's credit to cash mean like we got credit cards like mm. what is that you yeah know? yeah no nah, yeah uh, I kind of I, I add my two cents. Um, you know, just the understanding is that a lot of people don't know how to obtain credit, right? And then some people actually do have credit, but they don't know how to turn it into cash. Mm-hmm. And so we essentially show you how to get access to uh, lines of credit and uh, you know capital, so that way you can you know saying start that business, grow mm-hmm. that business, or scale that business, and really turn it into some hardcore cash. Because at the end of the day, we all want to be financially free. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's some financial literacy that goes along with it. So what we were doing is we we've just holding people by the hands and showing them how to actually go get access to you know that credit and that capital so that way it can strategically turn it into cash absolutely and uh, yeah to go off what he said is essentially we wanted to educate the people just on another level um we talk about you know collaboration over competition really bringing his expertise my expertise together and, mm-hmm. and saying how can we serve the people at the highest possible level um so everything from you know a lot of times people are in there hey here's the funding but then people have the question of okay what do i do with this funding how do i 10x it 5x it 2x it whatever it may be so we're essentially showing them everything how to leverage the credit cards to make money mm-hmm. how to be able to take the funding and actually go and start a business properly so you're not just out there lost because most times we know the reason people fail outside of the money is lack of education Mm. so we really just came together to just serve the people at the highest level got you so credit to cash is more than just like self-liquidating a credit card Mm -hmm. it's basically like you guys are saying we're going to put people in position so like yeah you can get funded but let's show you how to build something that's going to produce cash a cash flowing asset cash flowing business whatever that may be yeah right like taking all of the the information about credit the information the education but more importantly the execution and implementation Mm -hmm. from a credit perspective and so most people like you said they'll say hey go here go here go do that but Mm -hmm. we really hold your hands and educate you and make sure you understand how to implement and strategically execute what about the people that are just scared of credit and they're just like <laughs> you know they're just like they they see you know coaches like you guys and the first thing that they're thinking is like he just wants to get me in debt you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying he's just trying to make money off me so he can get credit cards what do you say to those people that are thinking that well the first the first thing i would tell somebody is that's the reason that's literally the reason we're doing this because most people where they go wrong is they get the credit and then they say Oh, I'm going to go do the thing. And that's why you fail. Mm. You cannot do a thing that you've never done, right? It's hard to go a place that you've never been, right? I call it like a GPS effect. So when you, what we teach you to do in this, and which is why we're doing it is you get the credit, but then you get the information on how to execute on the play. That's a big part that most people miss. And then when they go get in debt, they're like, damn, what happened? Oh, it's the credit card. No, it ain't the credit card. You yeah. skip the main part of the formula, which is getting the direction and the clarity to how to go out and execute the play. Your chances of succeeding are over 10 times higher when you have guidance from someone who's already done the thing. Mm-hmm. So to those people, I would tell you this. You could, you could stay stay doing what you're doing, right? If you don't have any credit, you don't have capital. We know 80% of businesses will fail due to not having any capital. So that's mm-hmm. option one. If you want to be an 18% who do who do go on to succeed, you're going to need the credit, and then you're going to need the direction. So mm-hmm. that's how I would answer it. Yeah, I just kind of feel like you don't know what you don't know. Mm-hmm. And don't let you, you know, what you don't know keep you from growing because you can only grow to what you're exposed to. And so it's a concept of having somebody that can actually hold your hand through the process. I think that... When we look at how we would talk credit, like, did anybody teach you credit? 
Mm, that is stay away from it. Yeah. Yeah. Stay, stay away, stay away from, right? from it. Yeah. And then they yeah. didn't teach it in no no elementary, no high school, no college. There's nobody teaching nobody about credit and the fundamentals mm-hmm. of it. And so, um, you know, I, I understand the misconception and the concept um, that we must, you know, uh, dismantle. And that that's what really got me into coaching is because I got tired of people just calling me and texting me trying to figure out, well, how can I do this? How can I do that? Because there was a lack of understanding. And so you fear what you don't know. And mm-hmm. so now that we can give people the proper information, education, um, there's they're not afraid they're not afraid anymore and so yeah. this is why we're we said all right cool we need to team up let's hold these people by the hand and let's walk them through the promised land of you know financial freedom mm-hmm. so i'm gonna put you guys on a test right so basically let's just use an example right of like how somebody who doesn't believe in themselves and not in a negative way they don't know they just don't believe they can obtain you see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like who's somebody that you worked with and then they came through your program, got credit and like turned up, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. 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 We've had a number of people. I mean, we, we did the credit to cash challenge last, we did it what, three months ago? October, yeah. October. Mm-hmm. And we've already, we got one lady, she just bought a Lambo. So she been, and, 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 and let me not start with that. So the yeah, people yeah. think, oh, let me go with the credit. Here they go, here they go, here they go. But essentially what she did was she came through the program. She had gotten the information to how to be able to scale um, her funding business, her real estate business. And she started creating so much cash flow. Um, I think she said she was doing upwards towards forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a month now in mm-hmm. her businesses. Yeah. And now because of that, she's created so much financial freedom. Now she's been able to obtain enough money to be able to go out and buy her dream car that's just one of the examples we have we have someone else who's now you know they're educating people on this financial literacy because of the results that they've been able to go out they're now making um between eight and ten thousand dollars a month so we have numerous testimonials of people that's gone out and you know been able to go um help the people Mm. like i like i like testimonials where you can see some type of materialistic uh, evolution but I also love the testimonials where people are essentially becoming us. Mm-hmm. Where mm-hmm. I like, I like when I can see somebody who's come through our program and now they have their own program. And I'm not like I'm not a gatekeeper. Like I don't gatekeep at all. And so I love it when somebody takes the principles and fundamentals of credit that I've been able to teach them, mm-hmm. um, like some of our students. And now instead of them, like it's, it's, it's a concept of the, the student will become the teacher at some point mm-hmm. in time. Yeah. And so now if you properly educate the people on what to do and the strategies, and now they go start their own coaching program. Now we're educating people by the thousands. Sure. Like I can't, I can't, Teach and coach everybody. Right. That's 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 the reason why I'm like I don't need to gatekeep. Why would I gatekeep if I can teach somebody how to go be me? And like biblically saying, it's like if I if I fish for you, I can only feed you for a day. But if I you know teach you how to fish, I can feed you for a lifetime. Yeah. So now I, we're teaching people how to fish, and then they're going to teach people how to fish. As essentially and eventually. We're going to start getting the point on how credit works and how money works. And we're not going to no longer have a fear of it. And it just it just helps the community overall. So I love that, man. Yeah, yeah. And then a lot of times, like, you know, people are just like, oh, they're just credit cards and stuff. And, like, stay away because of interest and debt. But they don't even understand how, like... When you're not scared of it, how a 0% interest credit card yes. can take you to another level. Could you just break some of that, Darius? Because I know that's kind of like... Yeah, it, it's a cheat code. It's like, we, we talk about borrowing money. Okay, if you ask your friend to borrow money, they're going to have tax on it. Y'all going to have arguments because mm-hmm. most our friendships are going to end yep. because of money, right? We know that. We talk about borrowing them, uh, alternative loans. Those are going to have stupid high interest, right? Now you're in a hole where you're in a worse position than when you started. But most people just don't know because like he said, we weren't taught this in school. 90% of lenders have a 0% business credit card and 0% is an introductory period anywhere typically from 9 to 20 9 to 18 months and that is the time you get busy. Like, for example, you want to go, you want to start your Airbnb business. You can go find a unit, go negotiate the deal. You could go to Wayfair, go get your equipment. Now you got the unit up and running and you're accruing no interest outside of the 1% that you're using from the money that you got. Now, mm-hmm. let's say it's 12%. Like you go to a Chase. Chase going to give you 12%. Um, Chase Inc. Unlimited. You go use that. You got 12 months. You're now making money. Paying that back after you already have a cash flowing asset is easy. So when you said 12%, they got 12 months. You mean like 0% for 12 months is zero percent interest for 12 months gotcha yeah okay, so now okay. You, you basically you had a business partner which was the bank they gave you the money to go out they're giving you this bank counting on you to not make it happen mm-hmm. that's where the education comes mm-hmm. into position yeah. you go get you someone who has done airbnb now you're moving flawlessly <clears throat> and it allows you to basically essentially scale and create that financial freedom to where maybe you can keep your job maybe you decide you want to quit your job you got three four five units and your cash flowing enough now you've literally changed the trajectory of your life and your family's life because mm-hmm. of credit but, but i'll add to that though like i'm the type of person because now I understand how credit and financial literacy works 
I don't even really have to have a 0% interest credit card mm. for me to feel comfortable. Yeah. Like, I just need some access to credit and some access to capital so that way I can actually go ahead and start that business successfully. Because mm -hmm. what most people are doing is they're working a job and they're trying to put a little bit of money into the business or save a little money to start the business when that's not the way. That's not how nobody, that's not how this game goes. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. real story about me is when I first got into uh, wanting to decide to stop playing small, I wanted to go big. I said, I got to get a coach. I got to get a mentor. And I got to have a business plan. So when I got my business plan together and I said, I'm going to get a coach, I'm going to get a mentor. I took a credit card that was like 22 and a half percent. And I, I paid, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, and we I, know I someone's on the show right now, like 22%. Yeah. 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 And that's, and that's, but the thing <clears throat> is, is I had a game plan. I knew that I was, if I just could get the information, mm -hmm. I could go execute. I wasn't looking at the cost of the interest rate. I was looking at how much it's going to cost me if I stayed in the same position. Mm -hmm. I was like, I can't keep staying in the same spot. So normally, like I was at that time when before I got a coach and a mentor, and this is this is gonna be good money to a lot of people, but I was probably making about thirty, forty thousand dollars a month. And I said, Well, I wanna get to I wanna start making six figure months. Like I mm -hmm. wanna get to that point. But I, I was stagnated. So I said, you know what? Let me pay this person here the money to give me the information because this person, based upon what I'm saying, is making a million dollars plus per month. So I need to pay them to get some of the information that I don't have so that I can go make the money that I've never made. Mm -hmm. So it's so I didn't care about the interest rate that the credit card company was going to charge me. I knew that I had the game plan. I knew that I had the execution strategy. I just needed the information. Mm -hmm. Information and education is what's keeping us from being where we currently are to where we want to go. Mm -hmm. So when you got a business plan in place, and you, you're ready to execute, all you need is a little cash, little capital to go pay somebody to extract the information. That's it. That's so I took, I took my own money from a credit card that because I didn't have it in the bank, and I paid somebody over 50 grand to coach me. Mm, and then in that very next month, off of the information that that person gave me, I had made my investment back. Mm, mm. So then I was able to take the money, and I was able to pay the credit card company back. But then now, because I got a, I got the information and the skill set that I never had, now I make that money every single month now. Mm, so I, pay, I paid the credit card company yeah. back. That yeah. capital, cap, let's just say Capital One, let's say Capital on Tap, let's say Chase, let's say American Express. All these, this, just look at them like business partners. They're going to give you a line of credit that you can use at your free will. Mm -hmm. Now, whether you go buy Louis Gucci and all of that, that's, <laughs> on, that's on you. Yeah. Not saying that I don't buy it and I said that I don't wear it, but the reality is that I'm going to go in, I'm going to execute on the business plan so that way I can have some assets that will essentially pay for those liabilities. Mm -hmm. that's good. Let's talk about, oh, keep going. No, I was going to say, and he, he's, he, had a, he hit it right on the head. Think about this. The average American we know doesn't have $1,000 for a rainy day. That's yep. crazy, That's an actual right? stat. Don't have $1,000, right? Mm. Yep. So we know factual that. Factual stat. That's a factual stat. Yeah. So we know that most, uh, based off that, most people don't have $100,000 in their savings, right? Mm -hmm. So understand this. What happens is when you go out to work a job, you work 40 hours a week, and then you say, I'm going to take this money to just invest in my business, it's not enough leverage. Because mm -hmm. the minute one thing goes wrong, now you got to go back and start from scratch. Mm -hmm. But we can show you how to go get 100000 and now you have much more leverage because you have financial support and a backing. Like mm -hmm. he was talking about how he was living off credit for a while mm -hmm. paying what'd you say paying bills uh dealing with stuff you're going through child i remember support. i paid child support, child support. Yeah. that's crazy mm -hmm. so it just gives you enough time to we know as entrepreneurs we're figuring things out yeah. right so mm -hmm. i say it's a major hack and you know anyone who's still in that mindset of not really using the cars i would advise you to get out of that mindset because that's what's going to be able to help you grow otherwise you're going to stay stuck at zero i know yeah. a lot of people talk about debt oh debt debt when you get debt free all your all you're at is back at zero mm -hmm. that's all yeah. you are you're back yeah. at zero so you can take the money go out and get to level 10 level 20 level 100 you can stay at zero but like but like the thing is is like you said like the successful people in america they have debt yeah, all of them they mm. just leverage that mm -hmm. yeah like the most successful people in the world are the people that own real estate mm -hmm. like they're the most successful people mm, it's all debt it's, it's all, all debt, debt. Mm -hmm. come on now like Shit. this is all debt like y'all trying to be debt free you trying to stay away from debt you're crazy dave mm. ramsey come on now no <laughs> we, you know, we, ain't, we can't do that like yeah. like there's nobody that can follow that kind of principle and become a multi-millionaire it's not possible what they mm. say, success leads clues. Success leads clues. We talk about all the successful people mm. um, in the world. They're leveraging debt in order to create their wealth. And so my my suggestion is, again, I'm not telling you to be irresponsible with credit cards or to be irresponsible with the lines of credit that you have, but take that and actually execute on a game plan from a business perspective so that way you can create that lifestyle that you really want to live. Mm. One thing I want to touch on that you said for people who do have that fear mm -hmm. is you said, how much does it cost to stay where I'm at? Yep. Mm. Yep. Let's, let's just spin back a block on that one right we, we there. Can, yeah. You know right what I'm saying? Because <laughs> a lot of people are like, 
like you know yeah. they're scared right yeah. and then yeah. they're like oh scam and this and that i gotta stay away but really it's fear mm -hmm. but it's like you're in that same spot every single day you're scared of the interest rate yeah. you know because that's yeah. what you've been brought up yeah. but like how much is the interest on staying where you are? Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? How much is the interest on having bad credit? Right. That's like high. People, yeah. you, you, you're like, oh, well, I don't want to pay for a credit course. I want to pay for this this ebook. You, you, you're thinking that you're saving money where you cost yourself more money because you got mm -hmm. a four, 500, 600 credit score and you got a car that you don't want to drive and you paying double the note that you should be paying on that car. You should be driving a Benz or a Bentley. Like you're paying more in interest and fees by mm -hmm. not, let's just say, paying for a fifty dollar ebook that can give you the education information that could get you out of that situation that may help erase, eradicate some some of that negative accounts and things of that nature. Or you don't want to pay for, let's say, a thousand dollar course because you're saying to yourself, "Well, if I pay for that, then I'm spending money." You're not spending money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're investing yeah. money into yourself. Mm -hmm. So you, like I said, it's 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 people. We look at the cost of stuff as opposed to looking at what is it going to cost me to be in the same position I am today next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, facts, facts. He hit it right on the head. It's like we always talk about assets, right? People want to what, invest in real estate because it's an asset. Well, I always say income is attracted to assets. Mm -hmm. So how can you expect you to grow if you're not investing into yourself, right? Like mm -hmm. the other day we hosted a call and we literally told people how they can um, go report their rent to be able to increase their credit score. We got people in the comments going crazy, man, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, what did it cost them? It cost them, he was 30 years old, 28, 30, it cost mm. you 30 years because of the information that you did not know, right? Yeah. So not knowing, you know, information is... Let's just talk about that just yeah. to give the people like, a free piece of game, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, just simple ways how they could be doing better. So it's like, they're so scared to even enter the arena mm -hmm. of fixing their credit. They think, I gotta wait two years for an increase, seven years nah, for a charge off, nah, all this type of nah, stuff, like... Nah. Nah. Let's just give them like something so that they to build that trust up. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, the one of the plays that we had gave out on a free class, <clears throat> I can give it here is like he said, a rent report. You go to rentreporters.com and they report up to four years of past rental history. Past rent? I didn't know they went past. past. I thought yeah. you had to start where you was nah, at. Past. Mm. So that means that now we're affecting payment history. Mm. So if somebody, you know, need a boost in payment history and get some more points there, you're going to get four years of. Rental history reported. So if you're paying $1,500 a month and you're just paying $1,500 a month to, to a landlord and you're just renting, that's going down the drain. Mm -hmm. At least now I can get some positive effect because now if I'm in the, let's say I'm in the early 600s and then I, I report four years of history, now that take me to the 700s, now I can get a better interest rate. Mm -hmm. So now that's saving me money. I got to look at this thing from every single angle. But yeah. most people don't understand credit. Like they don't understand how credit is calculated. Mm -hmm. the, the, they don't understand the metrics. So we got payment history is thirty five percent, credit utilization thirty percent, credit age fifteen percent, inquiries ten, right? Account mix ten. That's how your credit score is comprised. Mm -hmm. So if you understand, you know that if I add four years of rental history, I'm going to affect my my payment history. That's good. Your score is going up. I'm adding another account to my account mix. That's good. It's going up. Then when I decide to go actually purchase a house, they looking at my my credit profile saying, "Oh, she's been paying. Oh, he or she's been paying rent for four years on time. This is good." Mm -hmm. They report they reporting the trans and equal facts. So it's not going to report to experience, but it's trans effects. And then right now, I don't know when people are going to see this episode, but right now, it's there's no money down to get started with that. Shit. Then it's $10 mm. a month. So we're talking about somebody could get their rent reported today, 30 days, 30, 45 days from now, they're going to see a spike in their credit score. And now you qualify to become a homeowner. Now you mm. qualify to go get no money down and get your dream car. Yeah. It's a simple, like he said, it's Same. costing people time. Like, yeah. How long have you not known this information? Mm. Yeah. Right? And then like you was giving like one of the discover plays, like you can give them that like this. It's like people, we got people on the call getting, getting funded, funded live. live. What's funded the live. discover play? So it's like, listen, that's why I tell people going back to the, that ten percent being your inquiries. Right, a lot, a lot of people is like, I don't want to get inquiries, and what if I get denied the product? So what we do is we show you how you can go get pre qualified for a credit card before actually getting a hard limit. So one of the plays we had given out was Discover. Right, you can go Google Discover pre qualify, and what it's going to do is it's going to just going to type in your information, and based on that, it's going to do a soft poll, meaning not a hard inquiry, so no impact, and it's going to let you know. Not only if you're pre-qualified, but for how much. So that that holds you back from having to now go back and remove inquiries or worry about that taking down your score. And now that's going to put you in position to guess what? When we, when we come to the business side now, we're going to get those high limits because they're looking at something called comparable credit lines. So when most people, they go get a credit one or a capital one, right? Mm. Which we know to stay away from. Yeah. Because they're going to give you them $500, them $1,000, them $1,500 limits. I got approved for $300 <laughs> on capital <laughs> one. Can't do nothing with, can't do nothing can't with do that. that. You go buy a cheeseburger, your utilization. Yeah, you're all over. <laughs> no capital 
one, guys. Stay away no from no one. Stay <laughs> one. So, yeah, we, we show you basically how to stay away from those and how to get high limits with those good starter cars or credit unions because they're going to give you those ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 limits, which is going to put us in the best position when going to get that bag on the business side. Yep. Mm. And then look, another play is we just gonna we just gonna we're gonna give just them the bang them out. Nah, right? I got more. Bang them out. Yeah, a lot. And more. Like, so so what he's saying, you know, we talk about having a credit card doesn't give us a high limit. You got the built rewards credit card that's backed by Wells Fargo. Mm -hmm. They give you a line of credit, and most of the time they give high limit credit cards. And on this card, the beautiful thing is just like with the with the rent reporters play, you can now take the rental payments that you were going to pay, and you can actually pay your rent with this credit card. Mm -hmm. So this credit card inside of there, there's there's a section where you can enter your landlord's information, and they'll just basically cut the check to the landlord, pay him, and then the balance will just be on your credit card, and you take the money that you had in the bank. You just pay the credit card off. But the beautiful part about the built rewards credit card is they give you cash back and reward points every mm. single transaction. So now you can get a free flight. You get a free hotel stay. You can go out the country with your, you know, so you got a wife. Mm. You take, your, take your lady yeah, out. Yeah, 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 so you, know. you got the built rewards credit card. Unless you yeah. say somebody paying rent, you paying two, three thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Bro, that's that's some good money for you to be able to make every single every month, month that you never was going to make because you just was paying. Just you were just either giving a money order or you was just zelling them the money. No, yep. we're going we're going to use rent reporters and get that reported, yep. and then I'm going to use the built rewards credit card. I'm going to pay you and I'm going to get cash back and reward points all at the same time. So now I'm building credit on top of building credit. Mm -hmm. Today Thank we're going to show you as a brand new business. <laughs> no, no, like people like listen. People come out the gate, they just don't know. They come on like, well, my business is in season. Mm -hmm. How long I got to wait? You don't got to wait no. Time. If you started your LLC yesterday, we showed you how to build out your credit profile, yep. how to capitalize on the cash back. Well, guess what? As a brand new business owner, day one, you could go out and get you a business line of credit from like a Wells Fargo, right? Now, most people, if they don't know the difference, business credit cards and business lines of credit, essentially the difference is this. With business credit cards, there are there are some limits into terms of things that you can purchase. You might have to use like a plastic or a milio if you wanted to liquidate the card. Mm -hmm. But with a business line of credit, they are dropping cash into your account. You can move it over to your business check-ins and now you can utilize that money for whatever. Whatever. So you can go to Wells Fargo as a brand new business, as long as you got a 680, you know, 10 primary accounts and your data points are on point, and it will literally give you in between five and fifty thousand dollars and no doc funding. And for mm -hmm. people out there who are asking, what does no doc mean? That means without having to provide proof of income. Right. So people, these are things that people just don't know because what cost they're thinking mm -hmm. about, Oh, what is it going to cost me now? Mm -hmm. Get in the room. Mm -hmm. What's the play with the business credit cards when it's like, they don't report to your credit, mm -hmm. which is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then what's the bad part about them? Not like, oh, so how man. do people leverage yeah. that? Cause they yeah. say, well, the business cards don't report to my credit. How am I going to build my credit? Like, you know, well, that's why you start with personal. So that's okay. why we have the play where we teach you. Like we show you how to go to a couple credit unions, get those pre-qualifiers. Maybe a discover might be your first car. Maybe a Pennsylvania state employee credit union or, Nassau Federal Credit Union. Now your your profile's in order. So now we got those accounts report, reporting. And if you need more primary accounts, go get something called Credit Builder Accounts, right? Make sure y'all get in class and we're going to show y'all exactly how to get those. <laughs> but essentially, that's you could build your report in 60 days, y'all. People mm -hmm. just don't know that. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, we don't care about the business credit cards reporting because we want those not to report, right? That's the point of getting the business funding. Now we can go get this money and we know that the inquiries shouldn't be technically reporting. So even if we go get, let's say we go get Chase who's going to pull from Experion, G and Marcus who's going to pull from TransUnion, and then the Truist that's going to pull from Equifax. That's called credit card stacking. We just got three cards from three different, that pull from three different bureaus and now we got anywhere from thirty to $60,000. Well, the great thing is because the account's not going to report, when we go to dispute those inquiries, they see no account attached to it. So those inquiries can come off and now we can go back and get more. So you're so really you unlimited. you disputed the increase that you didn't get approved for. Is that what you're saying? That even that you did get approved for mm. if it's on the business side. Now don't, on the business don't side. Go re, yeah, don't, do not go out and dispute any inquiries that you get on the personal side that you got approved for. Do not. Your car, but you, you can do it on the business on side. On the business side all day. That's how mm. we go. That's how we, that's how we get these high limits and that's how we keep getting funding. You want to yeah. do a new real estate problem. You got some money. You want to market your business. Now you got some money. It's unlimited out here. And I just want to, yeah. I just want to kind of add a little piece of education for the people from personal to business. Mm -hmm. Although it's a beautiful thing to not have the business uh, credit cards reporting to your personal credit because that helps with credit card utilization and debt to income ratio. But the part that business owners have to understand is that most business credit cards are charge cards mm -hmm. where whatever money I use today is due within 30 days. Mm. So the, the difference is, is we talking about a revolving line of credit versus a charge card where mm. revolving is I can use this card 
And the money that I pay back every single month, maybe a minimum balance, something due, like on a personal side, they let us revolve that thing. We yeah. use it, pay mm-hmm. a little bit back, use it some more, pay. But on the business side, whatever you use, sir, they want that back. I want yeah. my I want my money back. Yeah, you know, like so. It's just they got to understand that there's a difference. So I, I see a lot of people say, oh, I want that American Express business card. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah. understand that it look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It look yeah. Shiny. <laughs> <laughs> and they got a lot of benefits, a lot of perks. So that and you ain't really no problem. But yeah. the problem is that as a new business owner, especially if you don't have any season and you're not really at the point where you're trying to grow and scale, I think business credit cards for me is is when business owners want to grow and scale. Mm. Entry level business owners who you don't have no business getting an unlimited American Express credit mm-hmm. card, and unless unless you really have a real good business plan and you got some money stashed away where you can pay that balance back, mm. like it ain't no point of a new business owner who ain't generating no money. They still working their job and they trying to figure it out to go get American Express Platinum just because you got a seven hundred plus on your experience mm-hmm. to qualify. Now you take that card because you just want to be cool on social media and, and you want to you want to pull it out at the restaurant. Drop with your it, oops. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like now you didn't use ten. <laughs> Racks yeah, in the yeah. last, you know, 30, 30 days, and now they that yo, we now, we now, right, now, yeah. rent, now rent now rent doing you dude. like shit. Mm. Yeah. Like you go, you going to tear yeah. your personal credit up. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you you going you going to test some stuff up because the reality is that if you default on those business lines of credit, they will report that to your personal mm-hmm. credit. So mm. you don't want to be that person to be in a bad position. So I just wanted to kind of get put that clarity out there. Like you said, start with personal credit, mm-hmm. learn how to manage that the right way. You know, run it up. Pay a little bit back, cause you know you could you could pay t- you could use ten thousand on Discover. Yeah. But the next month they might say, hey, look, just just run mm. us four hundred dollars. Yeah. You know you might be able to afford that. Yeah. And then you could use some more, right? You know, just kind of keep busy going until you know you start to sell things and start to make some money to pay that off. But just want to kind of put that out there. Absolutely. So so what I'm seeing, I was gonna ask you guys a question like, what makes you guys unique, right, mm-hmm. compared to anyone in credit? But what I'm seeing is strategy. Yes, sir. Like it's more than just. What we were taught with getting a credit card is strategy. So yeah, I'm seeing yeah. ways to increase it, ways to get stuff off faster. But one thing that we you guys touched on that I want to touch more on is just like the power of using the credit cards for reward points, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was talking to one of my homies over the weekend and he was like uh he had posted that his apartment that his hotel was five thousand dollars a night, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I hit him up, he was like yeah, that was just my flex on IG, but I really use reward points to pay for this whole trip. He said, I didn't pay for nothing. Facts. So let's Facts. just talk about that because you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the thing that's crazy is like, and I think about this too, like a lot of times, like you said earlier, we're zelling and cash apping when we should be paying on our credit card. Cause you're you're gonna pay for it anyways, Regardless. right? Don't pay it anyway. So I just be thinking like all the stuff I pay for that's two hundred, three hundred. Mm-hmm. Well, no I should just be swiping the credit card and putting it back because at least I'm gonna get rewarded for Absolutely. it. Absolutely, you see what I'm saying? Absolutely. So let's just talk. A, let's touch on it real quick. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Just so people are like, I see the little reward points on my. No, my navy fair, but I don't really understand it because they're not that much. Let's talk about how they really could be leveraging right. so that. So I, so we was teaching a class yesterday, mm-hmm. and I broke this whole thing down. Mm-hmm. So what I did was I pulled up, um, and we was teaching Discover. So I pulled up my Discover card, and I was able to show on there. I'm like, listen, this is what my wife spent in 2023. I brought, I brought up the year end summary. It showed you every single category and everything that you spent, and it showed you the balance, and then it showed you the reward points that you got. Mm-hmm. So. On that card, my wife has spent 166000 She's got, on average, just 2%. Sometimes for spending money at Target and Amazon, they give her like a 5% kicker. Mm-hmm. But the average is 2%. So on 2%, she's got $3,300 in cash back and reward points. Crazy. Mm-hmm. We were going to spend the money anyway. Anyway. So yeah. imagine you spend it on your debit card. You got nothing. Nothing. Like mm-hmm. the debit card ain't going to mm-hmm. increase your credit score. It ain't going to protect your capital. and ain't going to give you no cash back and reward points. Yeah. So by using a credit card... <laughs> We are, we essentially, we are, we're building credit and building our credit score. Mm-hmm. Where every 91 days, we're going to ask for a credit limit increase. They're mm-hmm. going to give us that. So then we're going to, we're going to decrease our utilization, shoot our score up even more. Mm-hmm. And we're just going to build credit and we're mm-hmm. going to build relationships. Yep. And we're going to get cash back reward points. You know what it also does? Like it could also be that rainy day fund. Cause you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, Hey, there's been times like back in the day when I had a credit card and then I wasn't even thinking about it. And I had $900 in reward points. And it was like, word. boom, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So Take it's like, that. that's another thing just to think about as people are going through. Cause like you said, you go and spend the money. And, anyways. and then some people be like, it's like you spending this money all year. Imagine somebody who, let's just say, uh, they rent a mortgage, uh, just take care of the kids, take care of their lifestyle. Let's say that's a hundred grand. Mm-hmm. If you get 2% back on just your life, out of 100 grand that's 2,000 every year that's your family trip right there mm. yep that's Disney World mm. right there you good you ain't gotta you ain't gotta try to scrape, scrape, scrape it up oh, yeah. no, I ain't take the fa- no you 
you gotta use you gotta get the cashback and reward points. Like I took and and me and my wife, our anniversary is December thirtieth. I took her to what was it, Mexico. Mm-hmm. We a whole week there, thirteen racks. Mm. We wore points. Mm. Flight mm. first class. Y'all know we, he's spending a lot of money that yeah. day. <laughs> Swim up jacuzzi. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we chilling. Yeah. And yeah. it was all free. That's mm. it. That's it. I ain't paid Dang. for a flight all in, in a year. Just leveraging Amex. But, Dang. you know, the, the Discover play we talked about, like, not only is it great for the rewards and the, mm-hmm. and the cashback, but they gonna they have something called cashback match. So yeah. at the end of your first year with that Discover card, what they're going to do is they're going to match whatever you've already spent. So, you know, let's say you got a $10,000 limit and you want Amazon a lot. Let's say for whatever you're spending $10,000 a month, you're getting $500 every month. Let's say over 12 years, that's $6,000. And mm-hmm. then they're going to match that. So that's $12,000. So you could, you know, like you said, take trips that aren't on you but on your Discover card. Mm. Hey, man, listen, Discover, we're going to tag y'all. Yeah, we, we, need need a, we need a sponsor. <laughs> 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 I didn't get that. So, so let's, let's kind of talk about that. You say you didn't pay for a flight mm-hmm. in like a year, right? Mm-hmm. So from the business owner standpoint, what I assume you're doing, your whole business is you're putting it on the credit cards and then paying it back. That's it. Okay, so like all so, your Facebook so ads, for example, your Facebook everything. Ad, yeah, for, it, the American Express Gold Card is one of the best cards to use for Facebook ads. So I'm using that anyway. Mm. Shout out to TuneIn and Tony for running my ads. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we're going to use it anyway. So all I'm doing is I'm growing my business with the credit card and I'm accumulating points. So mm. anytime I want to take a trip, it's, it's on Amex. Versus just paying your debit card. Which That's crazy. crazy. Yeah, because think, most people spending ads, you spending at... At least anybody who's really got motion, you spend it at to least 10K a week. A week. <laughs> you, that's a lot of points that's right absolutely. there. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Dang. And and then a lot of people it's just coming right off the Bank of America debit card. That's it. Just missing Nothing out on points. So, and look, so imagine this this conversation probably been for what, maybe 30 minutes or so. Mm-hmm. Imagine everything that we just broke down and talked and just this. Yeah. I know. And 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 this is this is how our students are so successful because we're talking about we're taking them on a five day journey. Like yeah. we're going over this every single day for two hours plus just mm. information on credit, financial literacy, like just breaking it down, answering questions. Like this is what it's all about. So, Dang. And yeah. then, and then we like the five days with us, mm. the information is just really one piece. The, yeah. the, the, what we've seen is, you know, information is everywhere, right? If information were enough, everybody would be walking around rich, but really what we're doing in this, we're teaching people how to go out and become the person that yeah. they say they want to become the person that's going to be ultra successful, you know, principles, right? Principles yeah. apply to all people, all places, all time. So we really want to instill those habits. Like we talk about environment, your environment is everything, right? Mm-hmm. We have conversations damn near every day, right? And the people you're around will dictate where you're going um, not only just off of your environment but what are you doing what skills are you learning to be able to go out and become the best you so the five days with us is the information's a piece that showing you how to become the type of person to go out and be successful is another piece and just gonna help people go crazy this year 2024 Thanks. so y'all y'all gonna give them that much time five days oh, of yeah. y'all's time every single day just breaking down and <laughs> and for people who really want to tap in we actually gonna help y'all start y'all days right Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing some morning calls where we're going to get up. So before you go to work, you're going to be so fired up. You might walk into the job and just just be ready to go through a wall. Right. Mm -hmm. So we so we're really giving it all we got, you know, to help the people. Yeah. Yeah, if, if, If they think this 30 minutes was good here. Imagine spending five days with us. Dang. So any, anybody here, I'm pretty sure you put in the description. They can go to credit to cashplay.com. Mm-hmm. Credit the way it's spelled, the number two, and cashplay.com. Mm-hmm. And listen, man, they're going to be able to spend five full days with us, bro. Dang, five full days. We got, we got a morning session. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got, you got to be a diamond member, though. You got mm. to be a diamond member. Okay, okay, you know okay. Saying? We got we got a morning session, man. Then we got an afternoon session. We're going to do a Q&A for an hour, and then we're going to hour a uh, class. Mm. So we're talking about five days, uh, two different sessions with us. It's going to be amazing. And who's the person y'all are really talking to on here? Like, who's that person where you, like, they listening right now, and they need to be the ones that, like... I would hate I would hate to say everybody. Yeah. But yeah. everybody. everybody. Yeah. Good, good credit, bad, bad credit. credit. Yeah. Um, well, let's talk about the know. good credit person. That that person watching this right now with yeah. a they like, I'm good. I got a seven hundred. That's what they thinking. Yeah. Like well, what, what, what do you well, do for you, them? Well, you don't have an A fifty, so mm. we can show you how to improve this. <laughs> yeah. There's mm. opportunities, right? right. Yeah. So even a person had, had an A fifty mm. that and I hate there's people that DM be like, Man, bro, I got eight hundred. Like, you can't help me. Are you making money off your eight hundred? Exactly. Mm. You need to learn how to leverage it. 
Right. right. So if you got good credit, we're going to teach you how to leverage it. If you got bad credit, we're going to teach you how to still go out there to certain lenders and actually get approved for for funding. Yeah. Like so, this is good credit, bad credit, it don't matter where you at. If you in a situation where you just want to learn, you want to become ultra successful, understand and be educated with credit. Like this is for everybody. This is nobody is 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 shunned yeah. upon. Like everybody is accepted, bro. Because it's credit to cash. It's not let me fix your credit score. Exactly. Right. So it's right. like if you already there, you're actually more in position to move to the cash. Correct. You see what I'm saying? That's, so. that's what it's about. You, mm. you need to know which banks. Exactly. You need to know which bureaus they pull. Yeah. You need to All know applications. Like I just had a girl in my uh, DMs a few weeks ago. Hey, I got a 750, and I did the play you said but i only got three thousand from chase i said okay well there's three parts to it yeah i don't know i don't know you're not my student you haven't tapped in with me i don't know your personal profile i don't know how your business structured and i don't know if you understand applications and relationships mm. so she said i don't know if it works i said okay how about this let me do your funding for you I went, we went to the same bank chase because they got two business credit cards the, the ink uh business cash and the ink unlimited we turned around and got her fifty thousand dollars <laughs> the difference is you don't know what you don't know so yeah mm. you got a 750 but you don't understand what they're looking for applications yeah. you go in the bank you putting that you self-employed you in the high risk industry you're mm. putting that you've been moving in different addresses the last four years you don't look stable so that's why you get three thousand dollar limits so some yeah. people got to saying oh i'm so close but what i learned is this so close is still so far damn that's why we say you're one piece of information <laughs> that we can get in the next level okay 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 you okay, okay. So. it's a little hot here yeah, yeah. Hot. <laughs> Sheesh. yeah. in 34 minutes y'all done broke down a bunch of game with credit mm. you know because see the things that I saw just from this is too many people are staying stuck in a position, yep. waiting two years to get an inquiry off. Mm -hmm. Come on, that's a waste of time. <laughs> you know on. what I'm saying? Come on. Seven years for a charge off. Come, Come on. on. It's a waste yeah. of time. Come on. But then also the people that feel like they're doing good, they're wearing this credit score like a medallion, mm -hmm. like a trophy and not doing nothing with it. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Facts. So let's talk about too, like just a scenario for like how the person in the personal world really wins versus, cause this is great for the business world, right? I'm gonna take the money. I'm gonna build a studio. I'm gonna get an Airbnb, this, this, and that. Like, where does it really win for like the nine to five great corporate job person? You know, yeah. I, just, I just think that it gives a person a sense of, uh, uh, freedom and flexibility from mm -hmm. a financial perspective. Yeah. I think that when you work in a nine to five, we're all strapped for cash. We never mm -hmm. have any extra leeway. We have yeah. no extra money. And so if you, if you strap for cash, you have nothing extra and you don't have a credit card, but let's just say maybe you got a 680, 690, 700 credit score and you like, but I don't know. I don't know where to go apply. I don't know what banks to go to. I don't know. Like you might go, you may just because you talk to your cousin, your cousin may say, Dude, I got a Capital One. They're going to give you $500. At least that'll be something. Mm -hmm. No. No, bro. <laughs> Come to us. We're going to show you how to go to a credit union. We're going to yeah. show you how to establish a relationship. And instead of a $500 limit, you walk out with a $50,000 limit, Shit. a $10,000 mm. limit, $20,000. So now if something ever happened, if you got that emergency, you good. Mm -hmm. Now you got yeah. money for emergency. If you want to go on a trip, you can do that because mm. now it's like dad never has any money. He never could do anything. Right. Now he got a, now he got a ten thousand dollar credit card that now him and the wife can leverage throughout the year and say, okay, cool, we can get we can get you know the uh, Christmas taken care of when we need to do that. If emergency come up, we got that taken care of and we can do a trip every single year because I got an extra ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars on a credit card that I can leverage to be able to create these these what we're gonna call them. Um, uh, these life, lifestyle experiences that mm -hmm. we couldn't normally do and, and yeah. trips that we couldn't normally take because we just didn't have any money. We were just paying bills to die, essentially. And it's like yeah. now you get you get a little bit more comfort, comfort you get a little more freedom, um, and it makes you feel a little bit better as an individual, too. Because the issue with, like, just the 9 to 5, which is great because of, you know, security in a sense with health insurance and stuff, but the issue is every time dad gets a raise, what happens? The family's expenses. They, they spend more money. They match up to it. Yeah. So that's where this credit to cash would be good because it's like dad wants to take them to Disney World. Dad wants to do this, but as soon as he came home and they celebrated – Better car came, exactly. and now that raise is gone. Yeah, you yep. know what I'm saying. Yep. It went straight to the better yep. car. So, yep. you know, this is where that's good for anybody, whether they're entrepreneurial or just you know personal and just trying to understand stuff. Because even me as a business owner, there's so much stuff that I don't even know that we yeah. all are learning. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you have to have that GPS and, with coaching. And, and think about this too, like you said, having that GPS for coaching and having somebody that can actually give you strategic ideas to execute on. The only thing that you don't have right now, you got a great idea, mm -hmm. like God impregnated. You 
you with the idea, mm -hmm. but you don't have any money to execute it. Mm -hmm. Shit. Yeah. So you you come spend this five days with us, and we're we're saying, yeah, you execute it. I, I got another student that just that, that wanted to start Airbnb or that yeah. wanted to do this. That want like you're like, yo, I, it's people that's actually doing it. You see that it's possible. Mm -hmm. The only thing you need is the opportunity and an example. I said mm. the opportunity is the money that 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 you really just don't have. So that's gonna help fund the opportunity. The example is the people that did it before you that look just like you. I see. You mm. said, dang. See. I ain't know that I ain't know that somebody actually executing somebody's doing this too. You need to be around, be around in that environment. So if you working in nine to five and you say I'm trying to escape this, mm -hmm. not saying that you have to leave your job today or tomorrow, but if at some point in time you eventually want to want to leave your job, come sit down with us, come spend this five days with us. Let us show you opportunities and show you how what an example look like of taking the money that you want to execute on on that idea that you have. Mm -hmm. So instead of you just thinking about it, you never speaking about it, executing on it. Now that because you got the money, you can think about it, you can speak on it, you can actually execute it. And that's called alignment. Mm -hmm. Mm, like we, like like let's let us help you put you in alignment mm -hmm. that's good. so that yeah. way you can actually go out and execute that's it and it's like like he said like think about it like all of us have had ideas it hasn't worked out maybe they have but the thing is most of us we just need to see one example right so imagine mm -hmm. being tapped in with people for a whole week and it becomes so much more real because i think oftentimes what happens is we get ideas and we're motivated but motivation is temporary right mm -hmm. but you want to be inspired you want to become disciplined with that thing because that's going to take you a longer time so if we can just teach you a principle that you can apply to your life it might be hey this is how you set up your mornings every day to go kill the day right yeah this is how you this is how you form your environment so that even when you feel like you know you might be down on an idea or something not going right this is how you get in it. or this is how you simply get in rooms where people are winning in the industry that you want to win in because now you can go out and win again your environment and your level of execution is always going to be the thing that catapults you to that next level so yeah. if you I, I believe this if, if you hang around a, a group of people who smoke even if you don't smoke if you hang around them for long a day long enough you are going to become a smoker if you mm -hmm. hang around winners for long enough you are going to become a winner so it's really about just teaching them how to really get to that next level in all facets yeah because i know one thing that i messed up on in business before is mm -hmm. when you try to bootstrap and fund like why <laughs> fund everything out of your own cash <laughs> Shit, yeah because then you have no cash to operate but Shit. it's like like you said you can get that fund in that credit card build it out you got 12 months to run it up. Yep. You know what I'm That's saying? It. But I done done a lot of times. Wow, wow, wow. Yep. And then next thing you know, Hurting. cash poor. You know That's what I'm saying? It. So definitely want to figure out how to turn credit to cash. So tell them how they can get in the room and spend five days with you guys. Yep. So you go to credit to cash play .com. Um, all of that is gonna be, it's gonna be on the screen. It's gonna be in the description. Tony gonna take care of all of that. Just come to credits to cash play.com. You're gonna spend five days with us. Uh, make sure you go diamond uh, at the very, very worst case scenario. Go VIP. VIP stands for very important person. Mm -hmm. Uh, all the very important people, you got to make sure you get locked in with us. We want to spend a morning session with you. We want to motivate, we want to inspire you before you get ready to go to work. We want you to go to work like you had a cup of coffee. You ain't had nothing. Mm -hmm. We want to jack you up, right? We yeah. want to we we have you at work ready to turn up in that thing and ready to get up out of there so that way you can come back in the evening and just spend two hours with us because we're going to spend two hours with you. We're going to Q&A. We're going to break everything down. We're going to educate you. We're going to motivate you. We're going to inspire you. Like he said, the motivation is cool, but the inspiration is everything because mm -hmm. motivation is external. Inspirational is internal mm -hmm. we like we want to bring out that that giant in you everybody has a giant inside of them like but you 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 haven't quite figured out how to move it how to get mm -hmm. it out of you i'm known for snatching the giant out of people bro. Mm -hmm. you feel me like so i'm going i'm, <laughs> I'm going i'm going to do what i'm supposed to do i just need you to show up so that way we can do this thing together mm -hmm. that's it credit to cashplay.com register spend five days with us man i promise this is going to be the best money that you've ever spent like and it literally when you when you when you see the price we already talked about it we cut the price in half just for all tony listeners mm. so it's going to be more than 50 percent off so that way you guys can lock in at the very best price possible so that way you have no excuses because mm. look you you can you can make excuses you can stay where you at or you can dump them excuses we can get to that next level together mm. that's it. dang that's it. Yeah. hey y'all heard him y'all credit to what credit to cashplay.com cash make sure y'all get in the room any last words for the people that are on the edge uh, just remember what you tune into, you turn into, whatever mm. entertains you, trains you. So just get in that environment. Make sure y'all in the room. Y'all show up, we're going to show out. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's it, man. Um, Like he said, environment is everything. Environment is everything. If 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 you want to put yourself in position to uh, get to that next level, you want to have your first six-figure year, your first seven-figure year, listen, old keys is not going to open up new doors. Mm. Mm. So you got to do something different to get the results that you've never had. That's it. Let them know where they can follow y'all online. Hey, at Mr. Phenomenal Power. On all social media platforms other than Facebook, it's just Dion Coopwood. At Darius Benders on all platforms. That's what's up. Make sure y'all tune in. Check out all the links in the description. We'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace.